Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. Today we're going to take a look at a more budget oriented laptop. Uh, this is called the Link Plus P3. This is a Celeron based laptop, uh, 14 inch screen. We're going to open it up, uh, unbox it, tear it apart and see if there's anything worth a damn worth upgrading in this and see if an upgrade is possible. So let me get this unboxed here and let's just take a look at this. So to make this quick, this is the uh, disappointment you might be expecting. And I was expecting this, so it's, I'm not really disappointed. But just to show you this on these P3s, there is absolutely nothing you can upgrade in these at all. You can't put more memory in them. You can't change the processor. You can't change the onboard drive, which is soldered in there. But you can, fortunately, add a uh, SSD to this. And uh, I think we'll probably do that. Uh, maybe we'll put Linux on it. I don't know. I haven't booted this thing up yet. Uh, let me put it back together and power it on for the first time, get it all set up, get it updated, and uh, I'll tell you what's up with this thing. Okay, so I just want to point this out. Um, I'm doing the usual every time I get a new laptop. Uh, you know, I'll do Windows updates on it. Uh, then I'll clean them up or what, ha what have you. Now, I have this on the GoPro right now, so it's live here. So we have two cameras going on here at the same time. So you can see this. Maybe I can zoom in here with my uh, mount. But it's been going... If you look right here, uptime 2.55 for almost three hours now doing a Windows update. Um, <laughs> that's just kind of unacceptable there. Uh, of course, the CPU in this is the uh, Intel Celeron N3350 uh, at 1.1 gigahertz. It's its base. Right now, you can see it's uh, putting along at about 2.36 um, it's turbo max is 2.4. I've, I've yet to see it reach that 2.4. Uh, not that I've noticed, you know, <laughs> in the last, uh, almost three hours now that it's been doing this update. Um, I'm not going to give this laptop low marks because, um, of the low specs on it. I, I, I think this laptop has some good things going for it as I'm uh, setting it up, and I haven't even done any test on there. I don't need to. This is a uh, N3350. I know exactly what this thing is capable of, and uh, I'm not going to try glorifying it. Um, this this laptop would probably be good for Grandma, uh, quite honestly. I, I wouldn't use it for school uh, if you're going off to college, if you're trying to save some money. Um, just because of the performance of that Celeron on there, uh, <laughs> quite honestly, if, if this, uh, takes any much longer than the, uh, three hour mark and it looks like it's going to, I'm, I'm probably going to wipe windows off of this quite honestly. And, uh, I'm probably just going to install Linux on this. <laughs> this is, uh. Yeah, pretty slow. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to cut this scene. I'll come back. Uh, I'm going to put Linux on this. Okay, guys, I did go ahead and put Linux on this laptop. And I also went ahead and did finish up doing the updates on this, which actually took me six hours to do. I'm not shitting you, six hours. Um, this thing was like capped at 100% uh, CPU load um, for the entire time. And But after it was done, it wasn't too bad. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, let's, uh, let's power this on. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, take a look at uh, how it boots in both operating systems. Uh, as you can see, let me zoom my camera in there and flip off a light here so it's not glaring. Sorry. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, a couple selections there. We've got Twister OS and Windows 10. 
to choose from. Let's go ahead and first start with Windows 10 and I'll show you the boot speed on Windows 10 with that eMMC drive. Now this is with uh, everything optimized, all the updates have been done. Uh, I did the disk cleanup and got rid of extra gunk. There was like 7 gigs almost actually worth of uh, space that was taken back just by doing a disk cleanup after doing all the updates. Always remember to do that people. Uh, do a disk cleanup. Especially on uh, small capacity drives like uh, this laptop has. Uh, you'll really, really gain some space back after doing a disk cleanup after you've done all your updates. But anyways, uh, so let's take a look at the boot speed on Windows 10 first. Here we go. Now this is going to be kind of slow, uh, eMMC drive. Uh, this is probably about the same speed as like the HP uh, stream would boot at. Um... It's nothing to be impressed by. <laughs> it's not as bad as a hard drive, I guess. Uh, that's one way of putting it. But, I mean... And, 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 if, and if you've just gotten this laptop and you haven't finished setting it up or what have you, this is probably going to be a lot slower than what you're seeing right now. But, yeah. I, with the, this little seller on in here and 4 gigs of RAM... It just it doesn't really have the muscle to push the boot as fast as you'd want to. But it's I mean it's not horrible, but there you've seen it. There's the Windows 10 boot. Uh, this is more or less a, a, a laptop that's made for um, younger kids, um, older teens, college kids probably wouldn't care for it too much. But I think for younger kids, for school age. Uh, at home learning, uh, things like that, or just, you know, homework, um, younger kids, this would be a good laptop for them. I mean, for the price, what is it, like 269 I think I've seen it for. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's who you should be buying it for. That or else maybe grandma. You know, maybe grandma needs a, a laptop. <clears throat> doesn't got a lot of money on social security we know how it is uh this would be a good one for uh just because it does the basic things now if you do buy it for grandma uh i wouldn't recommend your grandma go down and buy it i would recommend you buy it for grandma and do all the setup for her first uh just because this thing like i said this the, it's going to be so slow right from the start just because of the initial setup that you'll have to do with your Windows updates and updating the store and all that shit, just so it doesn't bother you. Get all that done. Uh, that's the first tip on this laptop. <clears throat> and it will take a while. But after you do that, it, it's not too bad after it boots up. It doesn't come bloated down with a lot of crap. I had... Uh, after doing the updates and what have you and cleaning it up on, under, you know, you just go to all apps, go to Windows Administrative Tools, go to Disk Cleanup, and you're going to click, click uh, Clean Up System Files, you're going to click that. <clears throat> And it's going to do a real uh, scan real quick of all the updated system files. And uh, right here it says Windows Update Cleanup. Uh, after you've done all those updates, there's going to be a lot of stuff here. And then there's going to be a lot of stuff here. Just check every box here. Click OK. Give it a few minutes to do its job. And uh, after it's done doing its cleanup, give it a reboot, which will be kind of slow. That initial reboot after the cleanup is be good. kind of slow because it's... A good, excuse me, clean up some system files out of there. And, uh, but after that, then uh, this thing should be booting pretty uh, well, uh, just like you seen it boot there just a, bit, a little bit ago. Hold on a second, guys. See, I don't cut scenes. I'll just take a drink of my soda and <laughs> carry on. All right, anyways, so... This isn't a gaming laptop, but you can do some gaming in here. Um, you can do MAME, of course. You can do probably the Super Nintendo emulator, Nintendo emulator, Sega. Um, I 
don't know if you can do N64, maybe. I, I guess you could try. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, you can do MAME. So, I've got a tracked mode installed here on this one. And i got a slew of games. A um, couple of them that I want to point out just to kind of show you. Uh, first one is Primal Rage because that one takes a little bit of uh, CPU power to run right. You can't really run it too well on a Raspberry Pi. You can, but it kind of eh, little sputters a little bit. Um, so we'll throw a couple coins in that. Um. <coughs> Now you probably can't hear this from here. These speakers are pretty weak on this. But you can see the uh, speed of the screen. It's it's not spitting and sputtering and, and stuttering and what have you. So that's that's decent. That's what actually what we're looking for here. Uh, another one to show you here is we'll go all the way over here. Right here. Killer Instinct. <coughs> That's another one of those that's kind of tough to run on a Raspberry Pi. And we'll just take our little boxer guy here. But yeah, as you can see, this is another game that runs really, really nice. Unfortunately, my playing isn't so nice. But uh, yeah, we'll exit that. Um, let's take a look here under Task Manager. Let's see if I can get up a little close there with that so you can see this. <coughs> under Performance. We can see that we got 3.8 gigabytes of RAM. 2 gigabytes, of course, is going to video memory. Speed of our memory... <coughs> Is showing 1600 megahertz now. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, I hope that's not right, <laughs> but it probably is. <laughs> Let me see if we can zoom in there. I guess we can't really zoom when we got the GoPro on this, but uh, yeah, it says speed 1600 megahertz. Now I should actually connect this up to the HDMI, and but uh, that's not really that important. But uh, that, that's a little concerning about this. Uh, you know, I, I was expecting the speed on this to at least be at like uh, 2400 or maybe at most, you know, like 2133 or something. 1600. Um, I, I know that's not going to be a double data rate thing where it would be 3200 megahertz, you know, 16 and 1632. So uh, I. I I think 1600 is probably about right on the memory speed. <coughs> so we got 2.1 gigabytes available. Now, this is one of those things where, like I said, when it comes to Windows 10, Windows 10 really needs at least 8 gigs to uh, <laughs> be worth a damn. 4 gigs, I mean, look at this. You, you, you got, was it 256? Uh, megs I guess going to video so you're not getting the full four gigs and then plus what Windows itself needs to run I mean yeah it's just yeah it, it kind of stresses the CPU more you're stressing the memory more it, it just yeah <laughs> four gigs is not enough to run under Windows uh, not too happy with that but uh, here let me back this off here a little bit and We'll go to Linux, and we'll watch the boot time on Linux here. Let me restart it. Come on. Slow poke. There we go. Okay, Twister OS. Now, Twister OS, if you're not familiar, um, what it is actually is Linux Mint LXDE, and then you install Twister OS as kind of an add-on to it to uh, get this look that you're going to be seeing here. 
Um, Twister OS has got a lot of cool uh, copycat kind of. One kind of looks like Windows 7. One's kind of based on Windows 10. One's based on Mac. One, it's kind of a cool <laughs> operating system uh, to check out, really. But uh, there's Twister OS. And as you can see, Twister OS is loaded. Not too bad a boot time. Um, can we say it's because, you know, the Twister OS is on an SSD? I have it on like a 240 gig uh, PNY SSD. Um, that might be part of it, but another thing is, is Linux in general will load much faster than Windows will. Uh, and it is just as usable. I mean, there's really... What do you got? I mean, you got like all your office stuff under Linux. Uh, you know, multimedia. I mean, like one of my favorite things uh, when it comes to is Pythos. What that is is the uh, the uh, Pandora. Uh, it's, it's the Linux version of the Pandora player. And uh, the nice thing about Pythos is that you can log right into your Pandora account start playing it and if you're not a uh, premium subscriber um, you still don't get the commercials so it's actually kind of a commercial free version of uh, your Pandora account and uh, you can do that under Linux which I like a lot uh, but let's not get in uh, fork the topic off into uh, Linux and why Linux is awesome because a lot of times I don't recommend Linux to people, but um, there's there's occasions that I do. And one of those occasions would be, honestly, on a laptop like this. I mean, Windows, it is what it is. Like I said, it, it doesn't have the RAM. Not the laptop's fault. It's not upgradable. It's the manufacturer, huh? Right? Let's not blame the laptop. <laughs> no, let's blame the laptop. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... I guess if you look at it from the standpoint of given what it is that you can't do any of these upgrades to it, um, I guess you should put the best operating system for it. And that really is Linux on this with the limitation of only 4 gigs of RAM. Now, if this was an 8 gig uh, laptop, I would say, yeah, you know, keep Windows on there. Uh, on the SSD, switch the SSD to an SSD, excuse me, and use that eMMC for like extra storage or something, or for uh, like backup, uh, a backup image of of, of uh, your SSD drive or something. But yeah, <laughs> so um, I don't know. I guess and and this and here's another thing too to point out is this keyboard. This keyboard is a UK keyboard. If you can see, like, right up here, you can see the pound symbol up here. Uh, you can see your at symbol is actually right over here. <clears throat> this uh, can be a, a little confusing for you um, if you're used to it the other way. If you're not too used to a keyboard, maybe you won't notice it too much and it won't bother you. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Dang cough. Anyways, so I'm kind of torn on to whether I, I, I would recommend this <clears throat> laptop or not. Yes and no. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link down uh, to it down in the description there where you can get it. Uh, I got it off the Vine program. They wanted me to take a look at it. I'll, I don't know what I'll end up doing with it. Maybe sell it. I want to buy it. Cheap. There you go, but uh, yeah, it's 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 okay. Like I said, it's, it's one of those that I think it needs somebody that's good with setting up computers to set up. But uh, once it's done being set up, um, handed off to somebody who's not so good with computers. I, I I guess in summary, that's who I think this uh, laptop is good for. Good for people that like to set up computers to hand off to people that aren't good with computers. And that's my final say on this laptop on the, what is this? The Link Plus P3, the Link Plus 3 P3. All right, guys, that's it for this. Uh, we'll probably get to a computer build, I think, next. But uh, I'll see you again next time, guys. I will talk to you later. Let me switch over here and bye.